at Alameda City School student-led news program. Where to report? We are a group of about, of about 12 students working on many different stories. Our goal is to share many things that happen at our school. Our first show covers the first few months of school. I'm your host, Bella. I'm Johnny. Our first story, and probably our biggest news about our school this month, is a national award that was presented to us. Our reporter, Ivy, brings us to the story. Hi, I'm Ivy with Ray Report. Recently, St. Albans City School has won a huge award, the Student Voices Award, due to our use of technology. Because we won that award, we had a group of students fly to Washington to present how and why we weave technology into our school culture. We're about to interview the said group of students about how the trip was and their feelings on everything that happened. Let's why go. Why did you go to Washington, D.C.? To present how our school uses technology and accept the Student Voices Award. What is the Student Voices Award? It is an award that SEDA gives out, I think, maybe every year. How did you feel while presenting? We felt a little nervous, and then we felt really good after we were done presenting. Um, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun after we we presented, and I was a little bit nervous right before I had to speak. But other than that, I felt pretty good about it. Betsy DeVos is the Secretary of Education, and we met her and got these little coins that said Secretary of Education on them. What did you do to prepare for this event? Practiced every morning, basically. At first it started out on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and then we started practicing every morning. And we basically just kind of met in the professional library and we just kept going over our lines and what we were going to say and how we were going to present so we would be ready for Washington, D.C. Take a one-hour shower. We presented to the entire school in the normal library in preparation for the actual event. What was the best part about the trip and what was the hardest? My, the best part for me was going to the Museum of Natural History. And the worst part was probably just before we presented. <laughs> um, I would say the best part was probably the reception before, getting to meet the people a little bit and getting to walk around to kind of see the people that we'd be presenting to. And the worst part was probably the feeling right before I went on. The worst part for me was when we went there on the plane because I had never flown before. Um, what did you guys gain from this experience? We gained the feeling of satisfaction after presenting and lots of cool swag. I would say I gained um, confidence in speaking in front of people. I would do it again because it was a good experience. I would go again because you'll learn lots of new things and you get free stuff. The Student Voices Award is an award given every year to schools or districts that use technology to greatly enhance educational experiences and achievement of their students. St. Albans City School has won the award this year. This is the first time a K-8 and Vermont school has won the Student Voices Award. A group of students flew to Washington to present how we use technology in our school in front of 250 education leaders, including the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. We won this award mostly because of our economics unit which taught students skills based on community, business, and economics. Technology was a huge factor that led to the success of this unit, being the foundation of every product manufactured. We used technology to research and plan our products, and the makerspace was used for at least one part of every product. That is quite an accomplishment. I didn't even know SETA existed before we won that award. I am sure that City School Group enjoyed their trip to Washington. Our next report is a, occurred right in our school cafeteria, with the Travelers team. Alex and Eva share a report focused on pies. Okay. Hi, I'm Alex here from Rain Report. 
We visited the Travelers for the, their annual pie party. These past years, Travelers did lots of stuff involving kindness. This event is called the Travelers Pie Party. This event is a party where teachers wanted to do something nice for their kids. So they came up with the idea of creating a pie party. So kids could enjoy some time with their family and friends and also enjoy some delicious pie. The Travelers students go, got to pick between chocolate and pumpkin pie and they also got the choice to put some whipped cream on their pie. They also got the choice of some yummy chocolate muffins. We got to speak with some students and teachers from Travelers on the day of the pie party. Uh, when I first started working here, our thematic unit was around uh, community and traditions. So we spent a long time talking about that and kind of created our own tradition for the travelers. And we've done it, it was our fourth year now. Um, kind of just thinking around things people typically do around Thanksgiving time because that's always happening at this time of year and went from there. to do that actually. Um, I get really messy, but I remember when I was a kid in high school, we did, um, they called it a pie eating contest, but it was just whipped cream, and you couldn't um, use your hands, a little piece of bubble gum inside, and the first person to get to that and blow a bubble was the winner, so I'm trying to convince my team to let me do that. Seeing all the families come together, there's not really other opportunities in the year except for like a couple of field trips maybe where like all three grades are here and not everyone's family but a lot of them so it's nice to see everybody bonding and just having a good time without any pressures of work or school. So how did you come up with the uh, challenge pie party? So we decided um, since one of the themes was community that we would come up with a way um, around Thanksgiving to share our community um, and work as a team since we do that already. So we decided to have the parents and families be included with it. So we've just been doing it every year and we talk about what we're thankful for and then we do that. We do the pie party because we're thankful for all the kids. Ever thought of making a pie eating contest? Oh, that would be a good idea. Maybe we could do that sometime. Maybe you can help us with that, the 7-8 team. Maybe. What's your favorite part about it? My favorite part is seeing all the families come. And even if the families can't come, all the staff that is able to come and join with all the kids. Thank you. That's all I want to ask. The Thank you. The question we asked was if they were thinking of doing a pie eating contest. They had never thought of doing one. One of them has shared with us about how he did one of one but with whipped cream. We found out that they might be thinking of doing it sometime. We look forward to seeing the next pie party. This is Alex Ray report to the studio. That was delicious. I would love to see a pie eating contest. I think I would win. Our next story is about honoring our veterans. Team USA has organized our Veterans Day events for several years now. Eva checks in with this report. Hello, I am Eva for Veteran Report. Recently, Team USA students organized a day to honor our veterans on Thursday, November 8th. Events included students from grades kindergarten to eighth grade. The morning of the 8th started with a breakfast for the veterans and their families. Team USA students worked with Ms. Lamb to make a delicious egg casserole, fruit salad, a variety of muffins, orange juice, and coffee. Ms. Walsh's kindergarten class donated some muffins they created as well. After the breakfast, all the 7th and 8th graders came together to have a short ceremony with the student speeches and stories from some veterans. Students Lila Rulo and Genevieve LeClaire gave speeches about veterans and what they have done for our country. Mr. Lange and Mr. Newberger shared their experience about their service in the military during this event. The Veterans Day run was held the same day with races from times 12 to 2. Races were held three different groups. Kindergarteners enjoyed a short race with their Team USA buddies. The first through third grade ran a similar race that was around the walking path. 
the fourth through sixth grade and seventh through eighth grade ran a, a mile loop around the path. Winners were recognized with ribbons at the older groups. Those people that did not run had the chance to spend the time walking the path or cheer on classmates or teachers. Team USA members also took part in the St. Albans Community Veterans Day event was held on Sunday, November 11th at 11, 11 a.m. Team USA had met once a week a month prior to plan the event with the Veterans Day groups. Lucas Wagner was the student MC and listed off deceased veterans since Memorial Day. Lila Rula also gave a speech along with the other town school student. For the speeches, though, there was a short parade honoring our veterans. Five students got up early on Sunday morning and worked hard to decorate our float for the parade and took the time to be in the parade. We appreciate our veterans and thank all of them for their service. This is Eva for Red Report. Back to you. Thank you, Eva. St. Albans City School has been holding Walking Wednesday for several years now. Lexi will get more in-depth on our Walking Wednesdays. My name is Lexi Smith with Team USA's Raider Report. Today, I'll be telling you about Walking Wednesday. Throughout the school years, kids and adults participate in Walking Wednesday. Each community participates in the friendly competition that takes place one Wednesday each month. Kids can walk to school to give their community points. Students can sign their name on a piece of paper saying that he or she walked to school. At the end, all the points are added up. The results are later uploaded on the announcements with a picture of all the walking kids who helped their team win. This is Lexi Smith from Raider Report. Back to you. Thank you, Lexi. Now for a short break. Our Raider Report advertising department has been hard at work to bring an important message. We will be back after this message with sports and more reports about City School. Are you dehydrated? Mm -hmm. Are you looking for a good drink that replenishes your thirst? You know it. Well then, we have the drink for you. Introducing the water bottle. The newest and most hip way to drink water. Tired of drinking water from your hands? Then the water bottle is for you. Now you can easily pour your water into a compact plastic container and carry it anywhere you want. Wow. Take a look. Welcome back. We encourage everyone to use a water bottle throughout the day. St. Albans City School offers personalized mugs instead of plastic water bottles or styrofoam cups. See Ms. Martinson to place an order. I need to get one of those mugs. Our next report is from our sports department, including Ethan and Isaac. What is going on in the sports world? Hi, I'm Ethan, and this is Isaac. And this is Rage for Sport Report. St. Albans City School had a successful fall season with soccer and cross country for both boys and girls. We are going to be talking about local sports, national sports predictions, when our school winter sports start, and some sports scores. We're also going to talk about gym units that we have here at school. The practices for basketball and cheerleading started the last week in November. We are looking forward to covering the competitions. Recently, St. Albans City School has been participating in the annual Elks Hoop Shoot. The Elks Hoop Shoot is a basketball unit that we do where third through eighth grade students shoot 25 free throws. The few people with the most baskets made go on to the regional contest. <coughs> Congra 
Congratulations to the following people that represented City School on Saturday, December 1st at BFA. Ethan White, Andrew Corbier, Eva Guru, Finn Lund, and Luca Boya. Ethan White won the 8th grade boys con contest and will be moving on to the state competition later this month. Congratulations, Ethan. <coughs> Thank you. Other kids who placed were Andrew Corbier and Luca Boya in second and Ava Guru in third. Thank you, Isaac. In addition to our sports coverage of teams and events, we wanted to share the many gym units 7th and 8th grade students will be participating in throughout the school year. All students have a choice of fitness room, mentoring, or staying in the big gym for some team units. Our current unit is called Broomball. Broomball is a game where everyone has a broom and you try to hit a foam ball into a mini soccer net. Our second game that we'll be playing in gym is volleyball. Then we have European handball, Omnic and Challenge Gymnastics, Omnic in the game, fitness testing for 7th graders, and lastly we'll be doing fun games. Kickball, fat bat, and dodgeball. I think it, that's about it for sports. Back to you, Johnny. Isaac, our Unified Arts crew recently sat down with the cast of an upcoming drama production, 101 Dalmatians. Kayvana has been working with the old, younger students on a play, and she took some time to speak with the students about the upcoming performance. I am Kayvana McKay from Radio Report, and I am here interviewing some of the cast from the drama production, 101 Dalmatian. Now, Galvin, can you please tell me, how is it like to work with everyone? It's hard. Mm hmm? What's the hardest part about it? Going from side to side. Ooh, the transitions? Yeah. Okay, so do you like to do acting in general? Yeah, I love to do acting. Uh, I've been acting like all of my life. Um, yeah. Okay. Why did you join drama? Well, how about? Okay. In the future, do you see yourself doing drama for a living? Yes. Okay. Why? Just because, like, I've done, like, things like this before. I've done things like this before, and, um, it was really fun. Acting have you done before? Or is this your first time? Not my first time. Oh, your first time? No. That's your, for your first time, what is the best part about drama so far? Um, I don't know, do you like practicing stuff? Do you like practicing mm -hmm. sometimes? Yeah, did you make any new friends or anything? Yeah, like Gavin. Hmm, what do you think is the best part about drama? Um, performing in front of a lot of people. A lot of people, okay. Thank you, Amber. Okay. Yes. Now this is Kayvon McKay signing off. Thank you, Kayvana. We wish the crew well as they get ready for their performance. I want to also mention that recently the entire Fine Arts Department held an art show at Collins Pearly Complex and at City School. Student-created art was on display for a few nights. It was an impressive display of talent from our school. Recently, the kindness crew did the kind contest for the grades pre-K through sixth grade. The purpose of the contest was to encourage kindness throughout our school. Students from the kindness crew designed the coloring sheets and then took time to review every entry and decide on the winners. Congratulations to the following students. Pre-kindergarten, Kayla from Navigators. Kindergarten, Carson from Dreamers. First grade, Brooklyn from Explorers. Second grade, Irie from Explorers. Third grade, Ariana from Imagination. Fourth grade, Aaliyah in Vo Voyagers. Fifth grade, Jade in Voyagers. And sixth grade, Ale Alexia in Voyagers. Be on the lookout for the next Kindness Crew Coloring Contest coming soon. That is a good idea. Kindness can spread with the smallest of acts. I sure hope all city school students and staff do their part to spread kindness. This has been your report. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.